the sun is out in Leger, a quaint ski resort in the French Alps. But I didn't come here to ski. Oh no, I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. Paragliding. Paragliding, like everything in France, is a pretty laid-back experience. Without wasting any time on formalities, my instructor and I started making our way to the summit of Mont Cherie, just shy of 6,000 feet in elevation. Is it a safe thing that we're doing today? Yeah, So I don't need any experience to no. do this. Are there any accidents in the past? I guess there's <laughs> Yeah, sure. Tone it like it is. I know it sounds a bit risky to jump off a mountain with no training, but statistically, paragliding is as safe as driving. And Dominique has been paragliding almost as long as I've been alive. So he's got a bit of practice under his belt. I'm not nervous. Should I be nervous? When it comes to safety, we have a saying in the state, safety first. Yeah. But I like to we say, <laughs> safety third. We have an audience. And off we go! It's heavenly. From way up here, we can see Mont Blanc, the highest peak in the Alps. Fellow paragliders flying past us, skiers swooshing down the slopes, and even the Swiss border down below. Within just a few minutes, we're already attempting some pretty advanced maneuvers, finding columns of hot air, known as thermals, and riding them like birds. Rather than soar straight down, thermals help us reach a higher altitude. Soon we're doing wingovers. As only experienced pilots can, Dominique harnesses the energy from turning the glider in one direction and uses it to make a more aggressive turn in the opposite direction. It's kind of like riding a swing made out of clouds. Thank you so much, oh my god, that was so much fun. You can buy a lot of stuff with 75 euro, but spend it on paragliding in the French Alps because it's an indescribable experience. Wait, I can probably describe it in one word. Awesome. It's time for the end card showdown. I asked if you'd rather grab a pint at a Guinness storehouse or visit an igloo bar. Survey says 86% of you want to freeze your butts off in an igloo. Because there was so much interest, we're going inside the igloo bar for a reggae dance party in my next video. This time, I want to know how you connect with local cultures when you travel. Would you rather learn to make the region's delicacies in a cooking class, or do a homestay one night and experience the way locals actually live? Cast your vote and see the results in my next video.